I am uh, excited to talk about this today, you know, and, and I honestly mean this. When I look around and I see whether it's Richard or Dwight or April or Rick, you know, I'm looking around and I go, I see so many places around the U.S. and even into Canada that, that, that I go, this is the power of, of technology, really, truly. But what it excites me about what it what what's exciting to me is what I'm going to share with you at the end because I think we can all plug into each other down the road. So I'll, I'll, I'll kind of share a little message on that. But so today's words essential for Wednesday essential. And Coach Meyer actually sent this over to me, and when I first got it, I was like, I, first of all, I knew what the word essential was. Okay, okay, didn't know the definition, <laughs> but but. When I got it, I thought, okay, I want to think about this a little bit. And, and, and obviously the definition is absolutely necessary, extremely important. And it took me a little bit to go, okay, what, what am I going to share on here? So immediately I start reflecting on myself. I don't know. I, you probably are the same way. Anytime I, anytime I get a topic, it's like, what does it mean to me? Like, like how does this reflect on me? And I started writing some things, started looking through some notes. I keep journals and journals and journals, like for years from all kinds of people. I've got like books. <clears throat> and I pulled up a book and crazy enough, it said important things in life. And it was from a wise, wise person of, of very much wisdom in my life that, that shared this with me. And he said, he once told me, and I wrote this down, he said, things that I believe are essential for people's life is, number one, productivity. You will not be happy if you don't produce in life. Now, this is him talking to me. This is like us sitting down at a table, and he's sharing this with me. And, and the gentleman was in his 80s. Uh, he's no longer here. Um, and he shared this with me. He said, Brent, productivity is essential for you. If you're not producing, you will not find happiness in your life. And the next thing he said was good friends are essential. Mm -hmm. Good friends. Amen. I wrote this down. He said, friendship is probably the greatest support system in the world. So don't deny yourself. And I look around this morning and I think for some of you, we're getting to know each other and it's just new friends, right? Yeah, right. Support system. Your culture is the next thing that's essential is what he told me, your culture. He said, Brent, that's who you are. It's what you stand for. It's your values. It's your beliefs. Do not bend from that. You were made unique. You were made individually. And, and so stand for what you are. And then he said, spirit, spirituality. He said, it's essential for happiness. And the last thing he said that I wrote down, he said, don't miss being in the moment. And I'll never forget this. When he said, don't miss being in the moment, I'm, I'm leaning in. And he said, be where you're planted. And, and I had a, I, at this point in time, I had a, I, it wasn't this phone. It was actually a flip phone back in the day. But I remember him saying, listen, if you got to carry that crazy thing around with you, <laughs> he said, flip it over when you're having a conversation with somebody. Be in the moment. Be where your feet are. He said, that's essential. And I just wanted to share that with you this morning for the word essential, but the last thing I'm gonna leave you with is, I'll tell you what this quarantine has done for me. This being in quarantine, being in Zoom has been amazing. And I'm so thankful for Zoom and the ability to communicate. But one of the things that's essential for me is being with people, being in the presence of people, like, like, like actually in with the people where I can reach out and touch them or maybe, you know, elbow them or whatever they want right now. But I, for me, that's essential. 
and I look back, you know, everybody knows it, this is not, you know, whatever your profession is, what your, but mine's network marketing. I built my network marketing business over the years, being with the people, like, like reaching out and touching, like hugging, like talking, like working together, crying, laughing. And I go, it's the meetings I miss. It's the dinners I miss. It's, it's the events, getting together, putting on events. It's the travel, the experiences, the new places, meeting new people. All of that, this quarantine has really, I guess, made me realize that that is so essential in my life. And for my profession of network marketing, which is my profession, I found something through that that I can retire in and not out of. I never want to stop doing that in my life. I never want to retire from that. And I think, what, what a blessing, because we're going, to lift, we're going to lift these shackles of quarantine at some point, and we're going to get to go back out, and I'm going to get to get in with a lot of you and experience the people, and for me, that's essential in my life. So thank you, Coach Meyer Miles, for bringing up that word today. I'm going to turn it to you. Yeah, that was great stuff, Brent. And <clears throat> I think the cool thing is, I mean, we kind of share with each other what our message is going to be. But so far, we, we actually are, are, are not hitting a lot of the same things. So I hope that that's bringing you even more value to give you a bigger list to go from. Uh, but, you know, I have, uh, it's actually seven points that I have that I want to say uh, something briefly about is, you know, in order for us to be and feel essential and be essential, we have to be proactive. You know, we can say a lot of things but we have to be proactive in what we're doing. Uh, we need to uh, always understand that if we're working with someone, they need to see that we are proactive in helping them as well to feel that they are essential. Um, and I also, I'm a huge believer in this, and it's, this is not just in the sports arena, but this is something that I've lived with my whole career when I first started coaching and even in administration and then where I'm at now, it's you have to begin, in order to be essential, you have to begin with the end in mind. If I want to be essential in what I'm doing every day, I have to actually envision that and see, you know, begin with the end in mind. What I want doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to get there, but I actually have to have that. I have to see it in order to be essential. You know, and as I say that, let me go right back to this third point is you got to do first things first. I say this a lot. I will continue to say this. You know, what we do, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. So we have to do first things first in, in order to be very essential in our business. And also, you know, it's kind of like y'all heard, heard about Zig Ziglar. He was a great man, one of my favorite people that I always refer back to. And, you know, he's thought about, he always said about, uh, forget about stinking thinking. We got to quit that. Well, in being essential, you have to think when, when. If you want your credibility and you want to be essential to yourself and to others, you have to think when, when. So, you know, I think you have to seek first to understand others in order to be essential. I'm referring back to that word all the time. And then you have to seek first to understand and then to be understood. Does that make sense? You, you have to seek first to understand and then to be understood. Again, just to be essential. You know, and the word synergize came up in my research when I was talk, uh, looking into the essential. And what this simply means is that two heads are better than one. We, in order to be essential, we have to create a habit of creative cooperation. Let me say that again. It simply means that two heads are better than one. We have to be, it has to create a habit of creative cooperation. And then the last point that I'd like to make to wrap this up in, um, and this is day to day that we, that we have to do is we have to sharpen the saw. And that can mean different things for different people. But to me, it's, you know, if to sharpen the saw, if I want to grow and I want to be as essential as I can be personally for myself and to others is I have to continuously look for things in order to grow, to be a better person, to be a better teacher, to be a better overall individual in every aspect of my life. So, you know, I think we all just need to work hard every single day 
to be essential and in everything that we do. Uh, yes, we have bumps in the road, but I think that, you know, let's just do first things first. Think win-win, begin with the end in mind, be proactive, seek first to understand then to be understood and have a habit of creating creative cooperation. So anyway, I hope that that has helped and I hope that it's uh, resonated with you and I hope that everybody has a, a wonderful day. Thank you, coach. So thank you so much. I've got plenty of notes on that. And, and again, I hope this was a power source for you this morning, just coming together. Um, 10, 10 or so minutes together just does some amazing things for me. I know in my life tomorrow. All right. I want to, I want to challenge you tomorrow. I'm going to give away um, a couple of things tomorrow. Um, I'm not going to say the book, but, but I'm going to give away a couple of things on here tomorrow that we'll talk about. Um, so invite some guests with you tomorrow. Like just tell them, Hey, come here for 10 minutes. Right. And at the end, I'm going to give away, we're going to do some giveaways on uh a book that's very powerful and has been in my life that, 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 that we're going to send to some people on here. So uh, I look forward to having you on for Thursday's coaches corner. So happy Wednesday to you. I hope everybody has a great day. Remember as always find somebody today, make them have a better day because you showed up in their life. Thanks yeah. guys. Thank you. Bye.